Chapter 5, Advancing Word Power, Charlatan, Cooperate, Disseminate, Diverge, Dormant, Hoist, Elicit, Irrevocable, Participate, wait, persti Precipitate, Prolification, Proliferation. Charlatan. My grandmother once bought a magnetic box from a charlatan who assured her that it would cure her arthritis. Of course, the box was worthless. <laughs> In the days of the Wild West, charlatans sold snake oil as a remedy. Everything. As a remedy for everything from baldness to insanity. Con artist. Cooperate. You can claim... You were at a soccer game where the car was away. I will corroborate your story. Sid says he saw a flying saucer in the park. No one else in the area has come forward to corroborate his account to support. Disseminate. Campaign workers went all over the city to disseminate pamphlets. Mm. Pamphlets and flyers about their candidate. What would be the best way to disseminate information about the next school board meeting? It's important for all parents to attend, to spread. Diverge. The brothers' paths diverge greatly. One became a famous lawyer, and the other ended up in jail for armed robbery. In a well-known poem, Robert Frost uses a branching path as a symbol of life decisions. Two roads diverged in a wood, and I took, I took the one less traveled by to separate. Dormant. Many insects lay eggs that remain dormant all winter and do not hatch until spring in those warmer weather. A visit to Puerto Rico reawakened Anita's dormant interest in Spanish, the language of her childhood, not active. Hoist! Let's go over to the construction site and watch that cr the crane hoist the beams into place for the new skyscraper. So far, attempts to hoist the wreckage of the jet tenor from the ocean floor have been unsuccessful. To raise, rise, rise, raise. Illicit. Years of illicit activities resulted in Jean's being sentenced to serve life term in prison. A life term in prison. Ted's business is illicit. He drives an unlicensed passenger van along a route that's supposed to be used only by city buses. Unlawful. Irrevocable. Ly Layla would like to break off her engagement with to hump Ahmad Ahmed, but she feels stirred, linchpin, that her promise to marry him is irrevocable. Giving a child up for adoption has become a subject of debate. Hurt. Should the mother be allowed to change her mind, or should her decision be irrevocable? Not reversible. She should change her mind. It's totally cool. Just saying. Participate. Participate. Precipitate. Mark's search for a larger house has precipitated by his marriage to a woman with four children. The discovery that Elliot had been setting fires precipitated his parents' decision to send him to a child psychologist. Bring on. Prolificate, proliferation. Hannah's doctors hoped that chemotherapy will halt the proliferation of cancer cells in her body. The proliferation, proliferation of dandelions in my yard is too much for me to handle. They're going faster than I could destroy them. I can destroy the damage. Wow. Dormant. Inactive. Alive, but not actively growing, as if asleep. Disseminate. To spread or scattered widely. Widely. Distribute. Irrevocable, not able to be cancelled or undone. Irreversible. Proliferation, a rapid spread or increase. Cooperate, to confirm, strengthen, with further evidence, provide proof of. Precipitate, 
to cause, to happen quickly, suddenly, or sooner than expected, hoist, to lift, especially with some mechanical means, like a cable, charlatan, a fake, a person who falsely claims to have some special skill or knowledge, diverge, to branch off in different directions from the same starting point, to become different, illicit, illegal. Diverge. Children's lives often diverge from the paths their parents planned for them. Charlatan. The natural healer was a charlatan. He knew nothing about healing, natural or otherwise. He knew nothing. Irrevocable. I thought your vow to quit smoking was irrevocable, but you've broken it already. Dormant. When I visited the art museum, my dormant creative instinct awakened. Now I've... I've signed up for a course in sculpture. Participate. Participate. Partic precipitate. Raphael's growth of four inches over the summer precipitated a shopping trip for new clothes. Illicit. In our city, the police department has special units to investigate illicit activities such as gambling and drug use. Hoist. The stone slabs were too heavy for us to move, so we're bringing in a forklift to hoist them onto the walkway. Disseminate. The environmental group disseminated leaflets about the oil spill, describing the damage and urging people to boycott the oil company. Cooperate. I'm afraid I can't cooperate Todd's claim that he never had problems with schoolwork. The fact is that he failed several courses. Proliferation. Sadly, the proliferation, prolif, proliferation of homeless dogs and cats have has become so great that about 17 million of them are killed in the U.S. animal shelters each year. <coughs> cooperate. The maps. The map cooperates my belief that just before the lake, the highway diverges into two roads which go off in opposite directions. Dormant. Rocky was briefly involved in a gang. Then his dormant conscious, conscience, 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 conscience woke up and he realized he really didn't want to engage in illicit activities. When the movers tried to hoist our piano onto the second floor window, a cable broke, and the piano crashed onto the sidewalk. We know the damage was inadvertent, but our decision to sue the moving company for negligence is irrevocable. Disseminate. Employees were ordered not to disseminate any information about the fire at the factory. The news might scare off the stockholders and pre precipitate bankruptcy. Cha! Cha cha proliferation! After a retirement community was built in Morristown, there was a proliferation of charlatans in the area peddling miracle cures for all kinds of ills, some of which were not only useless but actually a detriment to. Uh, <laughs> To, to, to health. It's said that there's a sucker born every minute. In retrospect, after the events of last summer, I think most of them must live in my hometown, Glenville. I, along with nearly everybody else in town, was taken in by a charlatan, a swindler, who made us believe he could help us get rich overnight. This con artist, whose name was Trevor Turner, Chester Turner, as a matter of fact, supposedly came into our town to open a real estate office after buying lots of cheap land. He hinted to some of the town's leading citizens that there would soon be an incredible proliferation of people wanting to buy land in Glenville. Naturally, those who re received this interesting information promptly disseminated it throughout the town and soon we were all talking about it.
When people questioned Turner about the value of the town land, he would hint that there was oil in Glenville by asking what if there were energy lying dormant under the ground in the area, just waiting to spurt out. An oil find, we all agreed, would precipitate a huge increase in land prices. Our suspicions about oil seemed to be corroborated by some oil company executives overheard talking in the local diner according to the wait waitress they soon would soon would they would soon have cranes hoist the oil dedics so they could begin pumping out millions of gallons of the precious liquid soon people were pounding on turner's door begging him to sell him lamb land in glanville <clears throat> After Turner left town without money, we realized that he and his oil men had collaborated to swindle us. We began to hear rumors that all of them had been arrested for carrying out illicit activities in another state. Although we had all been of one mind when Turner was around, our views now diverged. Most of us just kissed our money goodbye. Those we berated ourselves for trust in Turner. Some people, however, clung to the belief that they could somehow get Turner to give their money back. They couldn't accept the fact that the loss of their money was irrevocable. Finn. Chapter 5, Advanced Word Power.